Okay, KJ4 CTZ. Let's see what we can do with this uh, tricopter here. A little bit of space. And see, I did have to replace a prop, so let's make sure that they turn correctly now. Which looks like things good except for the tail rotor. Switch two wires. That should reverse that. There it does. Got a little bit of wind here. Let's uh, let's see. Left, right, left, right, forward, back. Okay, got some wind, but let's try it. Turn it away from me. Okay. That's much better than it was. That's the longest controlled flight I've ever had so far, so. All right, well, that was a whole lot better. Uh, flight number one, okay. All right, let's try flight number two here and uh, see what happens. Okay, it's good. I wasn't really trying to go up that high, but uh, it's a little sensitive on the throttle. Let's uh, try that again, but it seems like it's fine, okay? Let's give it another shot here. Sitting down seems to help with the controls too.
I'm not so good at turning yet. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'll tear it up. Try to fly it as much as possible without tearing it up. That's the goal, right? That's a little better. Whoa. See, get crossed up on the controls. I'm doing much better. It helps to have a radio that uh, you can tune down some of this stuff that's for sure let's try it again while we're doing good huh? all right change the battery <coughs> let's uh let's try it okay it's warmed I'm not sure what it was doing there. Let's try it again here. First, let's turn a little to the right and get the tail pointing straight towards me.
and shaking. It's got a little oscillation. A little bit of oscillation in the ailerons there. Let's uh, tune that down just a tiny little bit. That was a pretty good flight though. I'm, I'm sure you've noticed I'm kind of, uh, see this is roll. Let's get down just a tiny little bit here. I'm sure you've noticed I'm flying this thing basically uh, just with throttle, aileron, and an elevator. Um, hadn't uh, mastered the the rudder yet. Um, just trying to get control over it, but uh, it wasn't too bad. Let's uh, let's try it again now. I haven't broke it. I don't want to jinx myself. But. Wind's picking up a little bit here. Shit. <laughs> oh, uh. That's why you never take your fingers off the throttle. <laughs> but I think it survived. Okay. The wind is picking up a little bit. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it is picking up. Trees don't look bad, but believe me, it's picking up. We got a lot of forward stick on there just to just to keep it level. Man, it's picking up windy now. Shit! <laughs> Doggone trees. Did I kill anything? Uh, motor came off. Ain't no big deal there. Mm, prop bent. Uh, keep bending this doggone board and connections right here. That's that's not a good thing. I'm gonna have to protect that. That's uh that's bad to. Uh, keep damaging that board um, 
All right, well, I mean, I can fix this here in the field. That's not a problem. I can fix this too, but uh, um, I'm going to keep damaging it. I think the best thing for me to do is to figure out a way to keep protecting that and go. This is just nylon ties that need to hold that on. Of course, change the prop. But, uh, oh, you know what? Huh. Okay. This could be a big reason. That, uh, you know, let me just take this off. <laughs> mm. Yep, I got a 1047 on the back instead of an 1147, which would definitely make trimming more difficult. I got less lift in the back than I do the front. It's just a one of them things. Okay, I didn't even realize I mixed up my props. But anyway, um, wasn't too bad. <laughs> I'm getting better anyway, <laughs> despite that last crash. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. Su subscribe. Just to let you know, it, it was really windy. Check this out. See? I mean, that's a pretty heavy bag right there, and uh, it's blowing in the wind, so, yeah, it was kind of windy for the, uh, for the tricopter, especially for learning, but uh, seemed to do okay. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. KJ4CTZ. Stay tuned.